For low income families, finding a home of their own in Sarasota isn't easy, but that is beginning to change thanks to a $23 million grant. SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick tells us how that money is changing the lives of one family at a time. This gutted home on Providence Drive in Sarasota may not look like much now. But with a little work, it could be a dream come true to a struggling family looking for a place to call home. And that's why it rents for 600? Yep. 800 minus utilities. Bill Russell is the executive director of the Sarasota Housing Authority. Thanks to a federal grant through the Neighborhood Stabilization Program, the Housing Authority secured $1.7 million to buy 12 foreclosed properties and rehab them into single-family, low-income homes. Some homes need more work than others. Part of the uh, Neighborhood Stabilization Program 2 requirement is that we do have hurricane shutters on all the sliding glass doors and all the uh, windows around the house. They all receive energy saving appliances, including low flow toilets and shower heads to a super efficient water heater. The tenants who rent the homes must qualify as low income earners. Oftentimes they're living in motels or public housing. She had a job, she had earned income, but they were just struggling to find, you know, affordable housing and so this came and it was a real shot in the arm for that family. That shot is felt by more than just the families who move in. Now the economy is kind of slow and, and it helps keep jobs going on and, and keep us working for one, that's the main thing. They keep me going, they keep work coming in because I know there's a lot of companies doesn't have the work. It's a small break in an unforgiving economy for workers and for families who need a place to call home while they struggle to make ends meet. Mia McCormick, SNN, Local News 6. Keep in mind there is already a waiting list for these homes. You can call 361-6210 if you'd like more information on how to get put on that waiting list.